Welcome to the Michigan Style Channel, the online show that proves Michigan has style. Today we are at Elizabeth's Bridal Manor, a premier bridal boutique in Northville, Michigan, and I am wearing a Lazaro gown, one of the many bridesmaids dresses that is offered here at Elizabeth. Today on the Michigan Style Channel, we're going to have an exclusive interview with Elizabeth herself, bridal hair and makeup tips, and we're going to show several looks that any bride will look beautiful in, so keep watching. with Elizabeth Clancy, the owner of Elizabeth's Bridal Manor, the beautiful, beautiful boutique in Northville, Michigan. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? I'm great, Sharina. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for having us. We have been having a great time so far. Oh, I'm honored to have you here. Thank you. I just want to say that I remember purchasing my bridal gown here at Elizabeth's back in 2008, three years ago. <laughs> And I had such a great experience here. And ever since I got my gown here, I'm always bragging about your shop and telling brides that I know to come here because I truly felt like a bride when I came. Beautiful fitting rooms, I got excellent service and I was truly, truly treated like a princess. That's our goal, treat you like a princess. Yes, it was beautiful. When did Elizabeth's Bridal Manor open and what prompted you to open up a bridal boutique? Well, we opened in 1989. I, had, I fell into the business by helping out a bridal shop owner from Chicago who produced shows all over the country in which he sold samples and he needed help. Wow. And I happened to be in a restaurant over here and I'm talking about the need for help and I said, you know, I'm, I'm available tomorrow, maybe I could help you. So I was hired on the spot and then wow. I subsequently toured the country with them. Not every weekend, but on an occasional weekend I'd be going to Indianapolis or Minneapolis. Mm -hmm. Chicago and I, I loved it. I just fell right into it. What would you say is something different that you offer here at Elizabeth's that's not offered at other bridal boutiques? First of all, I think a unique setting. The fact that it is a home, I think it makes it very special. And on my website, I invite you into my home. This is my home. I don't live here. Mm. This is like my home and my home should be. You should feel like you're at home in my home. Mm. We have fun here. We laugh. We have a sense of whimsy. Yeah. And we'll relax, we take our shoes off, like a pajama party sometimes. That is beautiful. And I must say, you guys do have a very beautiful atmosphere here. That was one of the main things that impressed me when I came to your shop. What's the day for? Thank you. You're welcome. Belts are very important this year, embellishments. This gives you an opportunity to create a one-of-a-kind dress. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, it's a, a money-saving device too. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you don't have to have a $5,000 dress. You can take an $800 dress and embellish it with a $200 beautiful belt. And mm -hmm. you still, you know, for $1,000, you're, you're in the ballpark. That's great. That's really great because I know a lot of people out here are trying to save money. And like you said, it really helps to make a dress your own. How much time would you say that it takes for a dress to be ordered, altered, and ready for a wedding day? Okay, that's going to vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. Okay. Ideally, I would say we would like to have eight months to a year. Okay. Quite honestly, dresses do come in flawed, just like any other business. We have no control over that. And when that happens, the dress has to go back for correction or to be completely recut. Mm. So, you know, I hate to be a downer, but that is the nature of the business. We sell a number of items. We sell flower girls, mother of the bride, bridesmaids, and bridal gowns. We also sell accessories. We have jewelry. We sell lingerie, bras, and slips. And, of course, we pride ourselves on our veil selection. And we have a, head, a custom headpiece designer, Mary from Lavelle, who does a lot of work. Now, as I know, you guys also sell your knits, right? Is this one of your pieces that you're wearing? It is. It's from JSS Knits in New York, and I'm wearing it. It's very, very comfortable, and the price is phenomenal. It's half the price of a very famous maker, <laughs> which maybe you'll recognize. <laughs> Thank you. What advice can you give women who may be shopping for a bridal dress soon? Okay, I would say the number one rule is please make an appointment. Then we're prepared for you. It's like a restaurant. We have 
so many tables, so many servers. We have so many consultants, so many dressing rooms. We really want to stick with you. We yeah. put every dress on you, we hang up every dress and take every dress off of you. Mm. And that requires some time. Yeah. And then I think the second most important thing is please don't bring 10 people, 8 people, 6 people. Mm -hmm. You're going to be totally confused and frustrated. Yeah. Bring your mother and your maid of honor. And I think any more than that uh, is a recipe for disaster. Mm -hmm. That is a very good tip. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you, Sharina. It's an honor to have you there. Thank Stay you. tuned. Coming up next, we have bridal hair and makeup tips from industry professionals. We have some more fun things for you guys. We are here with Brandy Taylor of ExquisiteLooks.com, a professional makeup artist. And we are also here with Lisa Lynn, our gorgeous model. Brandy, tell us a little bit about this look that you created for Lisa. Well, what I decided to do was play up Lisa's eyes. She has gorgeous, wide set eyes. And I decided to do like a smoky brown with a little black. I added some lashes. I gave her like a coral cheek and a little bit glowing bronzer there and like a peachy toned lip color. It looks beautiful and her eyes look amazing. Give us some tips for brides to keep their makeup looking fresh all day long. I would suggest as a bride, if you it's your big day and hopefully you do it once and that's it, that you would have a makeup artist from the beginning of your day to the end of your day. That way she's there during the whole ceremony, anytime you need her to touch your lips up or if you cry and touch your foundation up and things of that nature. If you cannot afford it, you can have your makeup artist provide you with a kit of blotters and powders and lip glosses and things of that nature so that you can touch it up. That's a really good idea because I do know that most friends do get emotional on their wedding day, so it is good to keep your makeup artist on hand. But if you can't afford that, the little emergency touch-up kit is a good idea. What are most brides looking for when it comes to bridal makeup? I think it's personal preference. I find that most brides that I work with, they just want to look natural, like a natural glow. Mm -hmm. So they want to just have an enhancement of their natural, beautiful selves. Mm -hmm. Some brides want to be dramatic. They want to do a smoky eye. They want to do their favorite color, like maybe purple or you know things of that nature. So I think it's all personal preference when it comes to brides and how they want to look on their day. That's true, and that's a good thing to keep in mind because sometimes with all the make the magazines out there, we can feel pressured to do one thing or the other, and it's good to just be yourself, especially on your wedding day. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, Brandy. Lisa looks beautiful. Thank you for having me. We're here with Melanie Stevenson of Styles by Melanie. Melanie, tell us about this beautiful hairstyle you created on Lisa. Well, the moment that I met Lisa, um, she has a beautiful uh, diamond oval-shaped face and she can really wear any style. So I decided for her being a mock bride to go ahead and give her something, a full look that would accentuate her really petite, uh, beautiful face. And so I just gave her some uh, reverse spiral curls to kind of fill out the look and, and especially to fit the occasion. That's great. Do you think a bride should do a trial run with her planned hairstyle before the day of her wedding? Absolutely. I think because this is a, a hopefully a one-time event, which is getting married, uh, you definitely want to uh, achieve the, your maximum look and make sure that uh, the style that you choose is the style that you'll be wearing for this special occasion. That's great. Are there any quick tips you can give for, so brides can keep their hairstyle looking fresh the entire day of the wedding? Uh, definitely. I would say to use a carry-along bag, maybe a little small bed brush, maybe just a regular comb, and then also maybe a little uh, holding spray and hairspray, and you can kind of just spray a little mist every now and then as needed. That's excellent. Thank you so much. You did such a great job. She looks so stunning. Thank you. Gown from the Marissa collection. Wow, it is gorgeous. 
Now, what kind of a figure would this gown work for? Well, obviously it works great on Lisa's figure, <laughs> but it's also good on a bigger girl because it's called a fit and flare because there's no bulk in here. As long as the bride has a waistline, she can wear this dress. See how flat and smooth that is? Right. I'm going to make her look big. Yeah. Very disguising. And the simple silhouette really would lend itself to elongating a petite figure also. Absolutely. And this is a great example of what we talked about in your interview, accessorizing a simple dress. Because we took this gorgeous jewel encrusted belt and this beautiful bolero and added it to this dress and it just really made it stand out and it really created like a whole new look. And so this is a great way that brides can really be creative and make a dress their own. This gown is from Paloma Blanca from Toronto, Canada. Wow, this is gorgeous. Now this veil is very unique. Tell us a little bit about this veil. I okay. love this wide set trim. Yeah, this is also an uh, organza and I like to echo, the pick up something from the gown and, and put it into the veil. And this is organza and the skirt of the gown is organza and I just think it's just a beautiful tie in. It's gorgeous. It's great. It works really, really well together and Lisa looks gorgeous. Now this is the showstopper. Who is the maker of this gorgeous gown? Jenny Lee is the designer of this fabulous creation. She is known for her attention to detail, exquisite fabric. Here we have a silk cap at the bodice. We have roll roses incorporating three types of fabric. We have silk organdy. We have silk cap at the And we have little bits of silk cards in the center of some of these flowers. The it details are so subtle and so spectacular. Are there any other boutiques in Michigan that offer this gown? No, we are the only ones carrying Jenny Lee, I'm proud to say. Wow, this is great. Now what's so great about this gown is that it looks great on a slim figure like Lisa's, but it would also work well with the woman who had little curves. Um, and we paired it with this gorgeous, these gorgeous earrings and this beautiful necklace set and this thick jewel encrusted cuff to really pull out and pull together this classy, elegant, beautiful, but yet modern look. This is, this is great. You are explicit. <laughs> I'm speechless. day here at Elizabeth's. We got some wonderful bridal style tips. Please be sure to stay tuned for the end of this video. We'll have location information for Elizabeth's Bridal Manor, contact information for our hairstylist Melanie, and also our wonderful makeup artist Brandy in case you want to book them for any special events you have coming up. I am your host and stylist Sharina Monique. Please be sure to tune in next time. And also, if you're interested in being featured as a hairstylist, makeup artist, or boutique owner on the Michigan Style Channel, contact us, michiganstylechannel at gmail.com.